Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the TDF webinars on this um, first Friday of October already. It's blustery outside, it's raining. Let's just rub the hands and get warm and enjoy the session. So this is Team TDF Wellbeing Webinar. And I'll be taking you through a gentle physical well-being program for the next 20 to 30 minutes. My name is Gigi um, and I'm here today on behalf of the Disability Foundation. Um, please remember, it's very important to check with your doctor before embarking on any physical exercise program and please remember that your videos, your chat box are all switched off so you can see me but I can't see you. So if you have a question or comment or something you'd like to say, just email us. The, web, the email address is therapy support at tdf.org.uk. Therapy support at tdf.org.uk. Um, just do what you can, pace yourself. I will give you options. Uh, it's, it's, your, it's your session, so just enjoy it. Uh, you're in charge. And we'll finish it around about 12.30 today. So we're going to come to a seated position. Now I'm able to sit with my legs crossed, but for you, come to where you're comfortable. So you may need to stretch your feet out. It may be better for you. Um, I have my accessories here. I have my yoga block. You could try that. By doing this, you're... Um, your sitting bones are above your femur and that's sometimes more comfortable. You could try a blanket or a different size block, but come to seated and we're gonna start with some breathing. So hands relaxed on your knees. The breathing pattern we're going to use today is to the count of four. I'm going to show you what to do, but I'll visualize before that a square, we're going to breathe in for four, up the side of the square, hold for four, breathe out for four, hold for four. So let's do that together. So we're going to breathe in. Out, three, four, and again. And again. This time, let's see what happens to our lungs encased in our rib cage. Hands on your rib cage, the side of your ribs, and um, your, your elbows pointing in opposite directions. Let's breathe in to the count of four. Same pattern. You can close your eyes. Um, the, the breathing pattern should enable you to feel a little less stress, a little less encompassing of the rainy day, um, and something to just engage your parasympathetic system. So let's breathe in. And again, and what you should be feeling, please carry on while I talk you through it. You should be feeling the rib cage expand, contract, expand at the front, expand at the sides. And if you can even expand the back of the rib cage. Of course, shoulders need to be relaxed. And I'll join you now. So we're going in. And one last time, expanding and contracting the lungs within the rib cage. 
Breathing in. Shoulders relaxed. And we're going to breathe into the side of the right body. So lifting your left hand up and onto the floor. Let's lift the right hand up in the air, either straight ahead or to the side. And as we breathe in to the count of four, remember that square. We're breathing in. And again. And again, last time. Hold two, three, four. Breathing out. And hold two, three, four. I hope you could feel the lungs expanding, the intercostal muscles expanding, the obliques expanding. And with your right hand on the floor, lifting the left hand up to touch the ceiling or over to the side. Let's do that breathing again. Relaxing the shoulders. Come with me, the square. And again, hold two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold. And let's shake it out. Well done. We're going to employ that breathing system throughout this webinar. And let me know if you enjoyed the program at the end. So hands on the shoulders, just um, relax the fingers, fingers, fingertips on the shoulders. Let's bring the elbows together and we're going to breathe in for four, hold for four, out for four, hold for four as we rotate the, the, um, the elbows. Try and keep the elbows together, let them kiss. <laughs> so breathing in. Hold, out, hold, and again, out, hold, and again, shoulders relax. Take your time. Stretching the elbows towards the ceiling as much as you can. And around. And hold as we breathe out. And the other way. Two, three, four. Out. Two. Three, four, hold, two, three, four, breathing. In, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, elbows together, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Last time. Shoulders should feel nice and relaxed, warm, stress-free, nice circulation. And let's roll the shoulders a few times, one way, and a few times, the other way. Hands on the knees as we relax the neck. Remember the neck is an extension of the spine and the purpose in sitting like this, or like this, or on your block, is so that the spine is straight. 
and have shameful times. Last straight spine. Find your position of comfort. You're going to breathe in and take the head to the right. So breathing in, four, to the right, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and to the left. Out, hold, two, three, four, and again, breathing in, out, two, three, four, and last time to the left, two, three, four, as you turn to the left, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, and back to the center. Now breathing in, we're gonna take the head to the right, hold, bring it back to the center, and we're gonna drop our chin to our chest for four. And you should feel a nice stretch going from the top of the neck all the way down to the pelvis. So in, out, drop the chin to the chest for four, hold, two, three, four, and to the left, two, three, four, hold, chin to chest, two, three, four, and drop, two, three, and this time, we're going to drop the chin to the chest with a count of eight before we move on to another posture. Chin to chest. And feel that lovely stretch running all the way down from the top of the neck to the tailbone, to the base of the spine. Seven. Well done. So coming to your seated position, in whichever position is good for you, your, your feet may be crossed. In fact, if they are crossed, let's try something a little more challenging and cross them the other way. Or you're on your block, or your feet are out in front of you. So the right foot, the right, the right heel in front of the left ankle, as we stretch forward, we're looking for a nice straight spine. We're going to breathe in for four, hold for four, breathe out for four, and we stack our spine. So it's breathing in. Three, four, hold. Out. Two, three, four, hold. And again, breathing in as we stretch forward. One, two, three, four, out. One more time on the right and then we'll change knees, change legs. Well done. This time the left heel is in line with my right ankle or there or on your, or on your support. We stick and breathing in. And 
hold, last time. And re-step. We're going to do a rotation for the waist. So we can lift the right hand up into the air. Body should feel nice and warm. That's circulating. Enjoying the exercises, enjoying the, 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 well, the well-being. And take the right hand behind your right sitting bone. Or just behind your right buttocks. The left hand on the right knee. And breathing in, we're going to rotate to the right. Just breathing in. Breathing out, two, three, four. As we come to seated, and the left hand all the way up behind onto the left buttocks, taking the right hand onto the, the left knee as we rotate to the left. Breathing in. Back. And hold. Well done. I thought today, with the weather being different, let's try going onto our stomachs, onto our abdomen and seeing how that works for us. Again, a pillow is quite a nice thing to have under your head. We can all now turn onto the stomach, resting our forehead on our hands, on our fingers. And just breathing. And on the next breath, we're going to lift the head, adjust the head off the arms for the count of three. Hold, two, three, four. Release, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And breathing in. Release, two, three, four, and again. And as we do this exercise, release, two, three, four. I want you to imagine that your spine is one long straight rope. So you've got the vertebrae in your spine and we want to stretch them long and straight without crunching the lower, the, the vertebrae in the lower spine. So let's see what happens. If we lift the head and we crunch up like that, it's really tough on the lower spine. What we want to do is stretch forward, stretch the spine. Come with me again. So breathing two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, Three, four, hold. This time, you can keep the pillow there. I prefer, for, for me, I prefer it's a little more challenging not to. It's at your pace, whatever you feel comfortable with today. This time, we're going to lift the elbows and the hands together with our head to the count of four. Let me show you what to do. So, breathe in. Hold, out, two, three, four. Please join me. Oh, it's really difficult. Well done. Let's do that two more times. Oh. 
And last time, stretch your spine, release two, three, four, and relax. It should get the heart rate up a little bit. What we're going to do now, maybe advance, maybe a little not advance, see how you go. So we're going to bend the right knee. We're going to take the right hand if we can, and we're going to grasp the right foot. You feel that stretch in the right side of the body. Hold. You might be able to lift the right foot off the ground. Well done. And release. We're going to take the left foot. Bend the foot. Hold. And release. You might be able to lift the left foot up off the ground. Let's try that again. So bending the right foot at the knee. This may be enough for you. You may want to take another uh, step further. Clasping the right foot, lifting it up. Well done. And down on the left side, lifting the head, shoulders relaxed. Left foot off the ground. Well done. If you want to practice something at home, you might want to grasp both ankles with the head and come up off the ground. Or perhaps that's something for another day. And let's come back onto all fours. You know, we wear our shoes all day. Feet, toes get, um, are compressed perhaps in our shoes. And I thought we could have a little bit of fun today, taking the right foot over the left, taking the left hand through the toes of the right foot. Let's just give our right foot, our right toes, a little bit of TLC. So it's a little bit of loving care for the toes, a little bit of rubbing. Stretching, creating space between the toes. I always try and get the fingers right down to the webbing of the feet. Oh, that feels good. Mm. Sometimes one to one's toes need a little bit of stretching too. And if you take both your feet out now, the right foot, the toe should look a little bit of stretched, a little stretch, more space between each of the toes. Instant improvement. And let's do the other side. So taking the um, right hand in between the webbing of the left toes. Let's give those left toes a little bit of TLC. Stretching, pulling, turning. Love and care, TLC. Don't forget that little toe. 
also something to do in front of the television at night or when you're relaxing or in bed. Do a little bit of a TLC and if you stretch the feet out, you should see some nice space between each of those toes. Well done. And coming to sit cross legs again. Let's take the elbows into the side of our waist. So really put them closely towards the bottom of the ribs. And palms facing forward. So if you look at the shape, you're looking at a letter W. And we're going to stretch the hands out to the count of four. So breathing in, breathing out as we stretch, holding there, taking the heel of the hand and really stretching it out. Pretend there's an imaginary wall either side of your palms and you're pressing that heel right against the walls on either side of you. And out, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. Two more times. Pressing the heels out, creating space between each of those fingers. Oh, feeling that stretch in the, in the shoulders, relaxing the shoulders feeling the stretch in the shoulder blades, bringing the shoulder blades together behind your back and back together, hold, and again. Hold. Um, and clasp the fingers together. Again, a little bit of rubbing. Getting set for the day. Making a fist. Hands forward. And let's just rotate the wrists. One way. And the other way. And the last thing we'll do today is just to interlock the fingers, stretching out, opening the back, the tops of the shoulders, and again, stretching out, now let's change the grip so that the um, Opposite thumb and fingers are clasped the opposite way. It's quite a difficult thing to do. One way, other way. <laughs> One last stretch there. And release. Shake the hands out. We did a lot of work on our breath, a lot of rotations, a lot of work on the shoulders. Hope you enjoyed today's webinar. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back on on Monday and we hope you'll be joining us then because next week is a special week. It's Silver Sunday week, but more of that on Monday. Just before you log off, um, I need to tell you that if you like today's session, please support our work. We rely on your donations and you can just give whatever you can. In order to donate, you need to go onto our website, which is www.tdf.org.uk. You click on the Virgin Money logo, it's quite prominent on the website, and you just donate under that heading. I believe the rest of the weekend is going to be rainy and blustery so please practice some of the things that we've learned about today and I look forward to having your feedback next week or today thank you have a good weekend everybody